So housing is the number one, if not number two issue facing people today in my generation. I constantly hear that folks won't be able to afford a home, a townhouse, an apartment. There's people that are just living with their parents because there's no other way to make it affordable in Metro Vancouver. And for me, I think that's a real concern because we're going to lose a generation of really smart people in our region or we're going to prevent people that have a lot of skills that we need from being able to move here and apply those skills because there's no place for them to live. Metro Vancouver has always been a desirable place for people to move to. Uh, great climate, there's a lot of access to jobs and opportunity. Uh, we know that a lot of uh, newcomers also come to Vancouver as one of the top three destinations of Canada for people to land. Uh, that's been the case in the past and it's only accelerating. Uh, the provincial housing uh, plan I don't think really has a meaningful impact on the amount of people that are coming. There are people are going to be coming regardless of whether we build housing or not. I think the important part is that we actually start building housing. So I think the uh, provincial legislation from the Langley City perspective anyways, we're fairly aligned with that in the first place. I think a lot of areas, I mean, if all the density, you know, dropped down in one day, we'd certainly be in problem if that was a provincial legislation side, but we're already in crisis today. So we really need to come to the table in a way that we haven't before in generations. So regardless of even if people weren't coming, to Metro Vancouver, we have water and sewer that needs to be renewed that's 50 plus years old that was built for a very short design life. We have new tougher regulations which are important but that's going to necessitate the replacement of every single uh, sewer treatment plant in Metro Vancouver. We have climate change which is impacting the availability of water so we need to design for that. So these are things that you know, having more people come uh, only exacerbates existing situations. So. We haven't done this and we're going to need a generational response from the federal government, I think, working with the provincial government and with local government to deliver permanent infrastructure funding in, you know, something we haven't seen, you know, since maybe my grandparents' generation and build like we never have on the infrastructure side. So what was a really good thing for permanent funding way back was the uh, gas tax fund, which turned into sort of the community fund. So that gave municipalities stable, predictable funding to be able to help us plan our infrastructure. It's not enough. We need programs like that where it's per capita or some other sort of formula that we're able to have that predictable, steady uh, funding source where we're not having to sort of beg uh, for these grants that we may or may not get. That's going to be really important. So we need to expand that for the permanent transit fund. I know the government has indicated they want to roll that out. That needs to con uh, continue regardless of the federal government in power. We need to do the same with infrastructure, water and sewer. Uh, we just scratched the surface on that. That needs to be, again, a generational increase investment. And on the housing side, the federal government has some good housing programs, good programs for getting rental built and other uh, much needed sorts of housing. But again, it's just much too little. So we need to really ramp those up. Uh, and that's the kind of investments predictable and at a lot more money that is not just for Metro Vancouver, but obviously all municipalities in BC. I think it's really important to have an event like a housing summit because it really allows us to understand the perspectives of other municipalities in BC, understand that we're not alone. While we're all unique, we all have different sizes, I think. Whenever I come to these events, it's always interesting to see how common we are. And I think that if we speak with one voice, uh, we're going to be able to get a lot more out of the province and the federal government and bring them to the table.